Lavelle Edwards began his first of 29 years as the head coach at BYU back in 1972. Just two years later, Mark Philbrick began taking pictures at BYU football games as a student and has worked full-time as the university photographer since 1976, capturing the moments that made Coach Edwards an icon. And he continues to illustrate the present-day story of BYU football. When I first came to BYU, I, I came majoring in mathematics, and that wasn't a very exciting career. So as I got involved with the Daily Universe and working on the Banyan back then and uh, found that photography was something I really loved to do. Along with fellow full-time photographer Jaron Wilkie and a staff of five students, Mark is responsible for covering anything and everything at BYU, even beyond athletics. In his 30-plus years covering the BYU community, especially football, Mark has seen the world of photography evolve rapidly, changing from film to digital and from black and white to color. With the digital, we'll be able to shoot a lot more. As, uh, in the days before, we'd shoot up to 20 rolls of film, and that'd be a cross between black and white and color slide. And, and it'd be discouraging because you'd be have a roll of black and white in and something wonderful happens and they'll ask later, what do you have to that in color? And say, no, we, don't, we only had it in black and white. And so, you know, 20 rolls of film only adds up to about 750 images or thereabout. Now with digital, I'm shooting myself over 2,000 shots a game. And then you had Jaren's 2,000 and we had our students on there. We're probably covering a game five, 6,000 shots. There's no way we could afford it with the old film days, but now with digital, we're able to sh try more, be more creative, look for different angles, uh, just really push ourselves a little bit farther. Of the thousands and thousands of photographs Mark has taken, a few stand out above the rest. I've shot over 450 football games. So I should know something by now, I hope, I hope I do. Of course, the Chad Lewis uh, Bronco rider, we call it. That's probably one of the most outstanding pictures as far as I've had. It's black and white. It's a great shot of him riding a, a player. It looks really, it's a cool shot. The uh, quarterback factory that we did of Lavelle Edwards. This picture has been shown nationally over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. We've, there's been a lot of uh, mileage on this photograph because we really talked about Lavelle and what he did with with the quarterbacks that we had at this time. As a photographer, Mark Philbrick has covered all of BYU's bowl wins, many of which are highlighted on the memorable victories posters here in Lavelle Edwards Stadium, including BYU's first win in the 1980 Holiday Bowl. McMahon all the way back in his own 46, throwing for the end zone. Receivers are there, defenders are there. It is in the end zone. This is one of the time where you just, I wish I had the digital back then. Because, you know, I'd gone, again, short lens because I was concentrating on the team. And then we do the Hail Mary and, uh, you know, at least I got some of the ball and some of the action in the yeah. picture. Whether distant memories of decades ago or fresh recollections of recent years, Mark's artwork continues to blanket the walls of Lavelle Edwards Stadium and the hearts of Cougar fans worldwide. Final play of the game, barring a penalty, all the time in the world for Beck. Can anybody get open for him? He'll roll right, lets it go, finds his guy, touchdown! And then, Johnny of course, the Hartley. shot that set all that up is, you know, when he, he makes that catch over Wendell, you know, just a great, great with uh, Harleen there. So those kind of shots, you know, is, uh, football and shooting athletics is, we work really, really, really hard to be in the right place, have the right equipment, and have the right timing, and have everything. We work really hard to get there, and then we wait for luck. Robbie Bolo, True Blue. There's the handoff, it's the DeLuigi. Sweeping it left side, turns inside the sideline, gets to the pylon, did he get there? Touchdown! Touchdown, J.J. DeLuigi!